In the previous video we explained some basics of unfolding geometry, which is also known as shape development. We explained that a single geometric shape can be unfolded into more than one 2D development shape. And all of them can be refolded to form the same geometric shape. We also mentioned that the position of the cut line edges, is the reason of the variation of the 2D development shape. Now in this video we will explain one important thing. Required to finish building the geometric shape. Which is flaps. So what is flaps, and what is it used for? If we draw this 2D shape on a paper and cut it out. Then refold it, we are going to face a problem. Which is how we are going to glue those two faces together. It is not a good idea to just add some tape on top of those faces. So a solution to this problem is to add flaps to the shape before cutting it. Now, after cutting and folding this shape, we can use those flaps to glue those faces together. Which gives a much clean and better shape than when using tape. Also in case of using sheet metal, for creating the geometry, you will need flaps with drilled holes in it, to add rivets or bolts. But be careful when choosing the material to use for your model, because the thinner the material, the more accuracy you get. While thick material gives less accuracy. Yet you still want your model to be strong enough to hold itself at least. So when using paper don't use 80 gram paper, rather use card paper, from 120 to 150 grams. Also keep in mind that the thickness of the used material is relative to the size of the model. Now here is another question. Where to position the flaps? Well it is not a good idea to just add them randomly. So for this cube, since it is unfolded to a symmetric shape, I am going to distribute the flaps similarly in both sides. While adding the flaps, try to imagine how the shape is going to be glued, and which faces you are going to glue first. For this cube, I would start by adding glue to those two flaps, in order to glue this face to those two faces. Then doing the same for this opposite face. Now for the final face there is a problem. If we added three flaps to this face and try to glue it, any extra force on it will push this face inside the cube. And it will be hard and annoying to pull it out. To solve this problem, I am going to add two flaps here. And one flap for this face. Now in this case, if extra pressure is added the face will not go down easily. Another thing to consider when determining the flaps position. Is, not to leave any face without flaps. Because flaps also act as stiffeners. A face without flaps can easily be bent. But with flaps it become more stiff, and will not bend easily. As for the flap size, it may vary according to the size of the shape. So for small shapes like this cube, a flap width may range from 3 to 5 mm. So this is an ideal 2D development to build a cube. You can try it yourself if you want, just download the PDF file from our Facebook page, link in the description. Then print it on a card paper and have fun. Thank you for watching. If you like the video then click the like button. Remember to subscribe, and wait for more videos about amazing modeling techniques.